Good morning. It's day one of Stephen West's MCAL Geo Gradient. Geo Gradient MCAL. I was upstairs, minding my own business, happily TikToking down a, a, a rabbit hole um, and uh, not expecting the update anytime because he says sometime in the morning. And uh, it's here already and it's uh, nine ish, I think. Um, I, I'd actually, I've actually just cast on another jumper. Um, never mind. Uh, so I've not had breakfast. I've not had coffee. I don't work on a Thursday, um, so I tend to just please myself. You're going to have to get used to the old uh, bed head, which I have tamed for the morning. Um, uh, I'm going to do this as a vlog style because I don't have the room on my mobile device. Um, and I'm not getting the camera out for this because that's too faffy and uh, yeah so I'm gonna make some coffee and then we're gonna open the pattern together Okay, so I've got the iPad here um, and I've opened the message and he's crunching biscuits that she scattered all over the floor last night. Um, it's part of her little game, but it gets a tweet, so whatever. Um, I have my coffee, thought that was apt. Um, this is all we're doing today. So, haha. -ha. Hi West Knitter, I'm a West Knitter now. This is my first Stephen West pattern. Um, cast on the Geo Gradient MCAL 2023 adventure is ready for liftoff. Clue one is here to transport you to the cosmos as you begin your knitting out of this world MCAL shawl. Don't forget to tag your knits in progress on Instagram with West Knits. I should have put these on, shouldn't I? Uh, don't forget to tag your knits in progress on Instagram with West Knits. Oh, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag West Knits MCAL 2023 and Geo hashtag Geo Gradient MCAL 2023. Hurrah! Check out my YouTube videos. I guide you through the first clue. Oh, excellent. Videos. Videos are good. Um, <coughs> happy knitting, Stephen. You are receiving this blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Let's go and download it. Download it. And if you start... <coughs> yeah, really. Let's throw some biscuits for you, shall we? Right, let's do this. We need 27 hands for this, but let's get Annie. Just throwing her some little treats. And then we can chat without her interrupting. Oh, now, some of that was the intro, which I saw, I mean, four pages, seriously. Four pages. So I'm not going to be printing this. I've had that already. What's going on? Oh, okay. I'm being a dum dum. File number two. Okay, right. Ooh. Right, so we are up to eight pages to for the first first clue, it's called. Each different stage is called a clue. Okay, so we saw that I did my swatch. I've got my four colours, so I've better get it all out and, and cast on, haven't I? <coughs> yes, Annie. Right, no, that's not the bag. So many project bags. I knew I'd left it here to start ready. Here we are. Take the spare wool out. This is my swap. Show it on the right side. Exciting. Oh, trepidation or excitement, I don't know. Right, so blah 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 blah. Okay. So we're talking about colours A to A to D. Here we go. Oh, she's so naughty. So where did I start? I started with the darkest one. So, colour A is this one. 
You're being really naughty. No. All right, all right. Child. Right. Cast on. Using long tail cast on method. Right, so we're going to have to turn the camera and put a muzzle on the dog. All right, so I have literally just, these are three and a half, 3.5, what does the pattern say? So um, I've started the video and turns out he says to start with the smallest, no, the bright, the lightest colour. So I have recast on with the lightest colour. I'm using these mini needles um, for now because, as I said, I started um, a, jump, a new jumper this morning. Literally used my 3.5s on those, my 3.5 circulars. So I need to get my um, bag of needles out and... Uh, and find another set. I will have another set. I've got more than one of everything. Um, so I'm going to crack on and I'll show you how it goes. Well, would you look at that? You clever, clever bugger. So, stage one, stage two. This is stage three. It's almost time to uh, start looking for a pair of <laughs> um, circular needles now, I think. Well, day one is complete for me. It is now five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm done. I'm bored with it now. Not forever, um, but it started off with a short back and forth and then it got longer and I'm getting tired so uh, here we are three sections out of eight so <laughs> this one first then this one this is quite clever how that came together and then this came all the way we picked these up and knit them and then I haven't looked at the next section. Um, yeah, that'll do for today. Can't work on it tomorrow because I'm at work. Maybe do a little bit in the evening. Um, oh, done for today. Well, that was all the excitement. So first impressions. Um, really like Stephen West's teaching style very calm very clear instructions his videos are very good um i wasn't quite expecting that having seen some of the videos from him in the past um he's just a little bit kind of Wah! um so i was really impressed with his teaching style um i like the pattern i like how the colors come together i love that he's using all of the crayons in the pot straight off I don't want to get you know halfway through a shawl and not have used all of the crayons he's putting them all in straight away and I love that um I love that I've chosen this set of yarn instead of the other um colorways that I uh that I bought 
um, because it's garter stitch. I wouldn't normally choose garter stitch if I was looking at a shawl to do. Um, but with this yarn, it's, yarn, it's going to be really squishy and lovely. And I love that yarn. So that is day one, all finished. And I'll probably pick this up again at the weekend. Um, as I say, I'm on section three of eight. Um, there's a ways to go this week. Uh, so let's hope I find the time. Because I'm off for a nap now. <laughs> Goodbye. Mm.